Hey kids, welcome to Gospel Fuel. Um, how many of you guys have been to a birthday party before or somebody or you've had a birthday party? And what happens at a birthday party? Well, at a birthday party, uh, usually, you know, there could be cake, there could be ice cream, there could be pizza, hot dogs, maybe play some games, maybe you have some fun, you hang out with your friends, you invite people that you want to be there. And of course, one of the greatest, funnest, most exciting things that happens at a birthday party is... You guessed it, at least one of my favorites when I would go to birthday parties when I was a kid. And even if I'm honest, when I'm an adult, I love to get presents, open presents, see the presents come in. Maybe there's a little pile on the table as the presents go up and each friend, maybe a little bringing, bringing a gift. But imagine you get a gift, your friend comes to you and goes, ooh, here is a gift for you. And they put the gift in front of you and then they say, open it, open it. And of course you open it and you're excited and you're going through it and you're opening the gift and and you go, wow, just what I wanted. And you're looking at it and maybe, you know, maybe it's a doll, maybe it's a Lego set, maybe it's some sort of, maybe it's a, a soccer ball or a video game or some art supplies or some craft stuff or something exciting. And you're like, oh, wow, thank you so much. And your friend looks at you and says, okay, that'll be, uh, that'll be $27.65. Thanks. And then they have their hand out waiting for you to pay them for the birthday gift that is gave you. Now, wouldn't that be weird? And what wouldn't that be? That wouldn't be a gift. Usually gifts are free gifts. They're not usually a gift that has a cost attached to it. Because if there's a cost attached to a gift that the person getting it has to pay, well, then guess what? It's not a gift. It's just something you, you know, saved up to buy. And maybe you're good at saving up to buy things or, or you know, you, you've done that and you're just saving away in your allowance. Maybe you have a little jar that you put money in and set money aside for certain things that you're saving and, 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 and waiting for with anticipation and excitement and you're saving allowance or, or just money that comes in for your birthday or something and you save up and you buy something. You're like, yeah, look what I did. Look what I saved up. Look what I saved up to buy. And you're excited about that because it's something you've done, something you've earned. But when you get a gift, that's not something you've earned. That's just something that's given to you. And it's a free gift. And I've never been in a situation where I get a gift from a friend and they say, okay, Mike, uh, that's going to be $58.13. Thanks. Money, please. I've never been in that situation. Why? Because that's not how gifts are given. And you know what, kids? Jesus's gift of salvation is a free gift. Jesus gives us the free gift of saving us, for rescuing us, for doing what we could never do, and that's living the perfect life, dying on the cross and rising again, so he could set us free. And when Jesus gives you that gift of salvation, he doesn't look at you and hold his hand out and go, okay, that'll cost, that'll cost you big time. Because imagine the cost of salvation. Now you got to live, the, Jesus doesn't hand out the gift of salvation and say, okay, okay, kids, now you got to live the rest of your life trying to pay back the gift that I just gave you. No, that wouldn't be a gift. The gift of salvation is a free gift that Jesus gives to you and to me. And what we need to do is guess what we got to do? We got to receive that gift. We got to believe in that that gift is free and that gift is true and that gift is good. That's our responsibility just to receive it. Say, Jesus, thank you for the gift of salvation. Thank you for saving me. See, that's amazing. That is the free gift. You don't need to live your life, the rest of your life trying to pay that gift back because that wouldn't be a gift. So enjoy the free gift of salvation.